Hey guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my Zodiac series. Today we are going to be doing Aries. And this is the look right here. So Zodiac uh, Aries is the ram and they tend to be very courageous and determined. Um, they're often confident. Their colors are red, their element is fire, and their ruler is Mars. Sorry about the noise, background noise. I'm filming outside today. Uh, this whole series is inspired by Kimberly Margarita. She's awesome. If you don't know her, I'll link her below. Go check her out. Her work is crazy cool. Alrighty, so to begin, you just do kind of your normal face. I use mascara beauty products. I'm going in with my base, which is my highlight shade in the shade Amber. I'm using the 30 second half brush. I am going in under my eyes and on my forehead with a little bit of tart shape tape to really, really like porcelain out my skin. You want to put this pretty much everywhere because you want the pigment of the other shades to be super, super bright. I'm going over the um, tart shape tape, a little bit of flour, um, powder, and we will contour our cheeks. I'm using the 30 second half brush with the shade indigo for my contour. I'm going under my cheekbones and around my face. It's important to really blend this out. You want it to look natural, but like fierce. And next I'm going in with the Bella Cream Bronzer from Mascara. I love this stuff so much and the B Squared brush as well. And now we're moving on to the chin. This is where we get into some color. I'm using that bright red shade from the NYX Brights palette. And I'm taking that pretty much all under my jawline and with a big fluffy brush and then moving it slowly down my neck. Now I'm taking a slightly lighter shade and just keep working it down the neck. You want this to be really dramatic and fiery. Now I'm gonna take a Morphe brush and that same brighter red color and we're gonna start on our eyes. We're kind of making a slightly clowny shape with the eyeshadow right here. Um, we want a point going up towards the eyebrow and a point facing down towards your chin. Going in with another Morphe brush. This is more of a packing brush, so I'm making that color even more defined and bright. Zoom in here a little bit so you can see in detail. I was mapping out where I wanted the um, points to go pretty much with the first brush and now we're moving on to the BH Cosmetics palette I'm taking up that gold pigment right there and packing it we're kind of creating a halo um, eye right here it's like the easiest way to explain it you want to put the gold on either side of the red stripe and we're actually going to be darkening this with a more bronzy shade later on the outer edges just do that to both eyes. I spritz it with um, some mascara stay setting spray, but any setting spray will work. It'll really help to pick up the pigment. And next we're going to be going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and picking up that bronzy shade that she's got in there. And we're going along the outer corners of the outer rim of that gold shade just to kind of fan it out get more depth in there. We want the outer edges of this look to be kind of dark and fiery, so. And whatever you do to the top, you want to do the bot do the bottom as well. Now I'm taking another Morphe brush, going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and taking that black shade, I believe it's called Abyss, and we're gonna start carving out um, the edges of our face, bringing in some some soot, some fire to our dimension and we want to really carve out that nose. I think that really helps get this like very like goddess look, almost like you're wearing a mask. Okay, now we're going in more with some darker red shades. I really only went on the outer rims of the shape here just to darken them up even more. I thought it needed more pigment. 
And here's my puppy. Little puppy break. Who doesn't love a little puppy break? So here we go. Stop. Stop what you're doing and listen for a second. I gotta explain something. Moving forward, I am not a professional and I am no way condoning putting anything on your face that isn't supposed to be on your face. We're about to use acrylic paints and even though, yes, I have used them in the past on my face and I've had no issues, that doesn't mean that you won't have any issues. So before you put any, any acrylic paint on your face, please test it or just choose to use a different product. That is also totally fine. I had acrylic paint on hand and I feel comfortable using acrylic paint. Okay, rant over, let's get back to the video. So I'm using Craftsmart acrylic paint in the shade red and I'm mixing it with a little bit of water here until it gets nice and drippy. We want it as drippy as possible. Now you're gonna kind of do this motion where you flick the bristles towards your face until it creates a paint splatter. And you want to keep the red kind of where you put that pore or that vertical shape over your eyes. Now make sure you close your eyes while you do this. Do not open your eyes while you're flicking paint towards your face. You got that going. I kind of blotted it around with the paintbrush just to get more big splatters on there. I also went in with the shade black and I also put it down my neck as well. So once you're covered in paint, we can move on and do the rest of the face. So now for my eyebrows, I am putting a little bit of liquid catsuit and a color pop shade to give my eyebrows a little bit of sparkle. Now here comes the fun part. We're going in with the NYX glitter glue and some gems. I got these gems at Michael's, but you can get them at other craft stores. Okay, now for the uh, winged liner, I'm using the TARDIS clay uh, liner in black with an angle brush. I totally suck at liner, but I found this to be the easiest and most glidey way that I could get it on. I want a really big, very dramatic wing. We're going to be adding a double stack pair of lashes later. And don't forget to highlight your face. I'm choosing to use the Anastasia Glow Kit, but you can use whatever you like. Put some mascara on and some bottom lashes, which is a really cool trick. All you have to do is when you trim your lashes, save those little edges and use them as bottom lashes. That's really all I do. So I'm using lashes that I found at Marshalls, but you can use whatever lashes you would like. I actually chose to do a double stacked pair I'm using that red lipstick that I used on my eyebrows, the liquid catsuit, and a gold metal shock shade to create a ombre effect. Stuck a little gem on there, and we are done. Comb out the hair, spray it, tease it, make it nice and big. We are done with Aries. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, and click that subscribe button and the bell. I'll see you in the next video zodiac series tutorial see you guys